you are a sponsor of a Me Too bill and a leader in anti-harassment in Harrisburg. Can you explain what your efforts are? Sure. Um, so last fall, I, like so many others, saw the news on the Harvey Weinstein scandal and I saw women starting to go to social media to share their own stories of having been harassed. I'm one of just 42 women who serve in our state legislature. We're less than 19% of the total. And so I felt a responsibility to say, yes, this can happen to anyone. So I went on social media and shared a story of having been harassed by a college professor 20 years ago. What happened next, Larry, was that women who work in the Capitol started to come to me and tell me their own personal stories. And many of them had been harassed and even assaulted by legislators, by lobbyists, by people who work in the Capitol. And I needed to do something in response. So I started to look at all of the legislation that had been introduced in other places. I drafted the Me Too bill, House Bill 1965, which was introduced back in January. I met multiple times with all of the stakeholders that support women uh, who are survivors of sexual harassment and assault, and we introduced the bill. This bill, as we speak today, has been sitting in the Labor and Industry Committee for over six months. It's got more bipartisan and support than any other bill that's been introduced on this topic, and yet the only things that have been voted on so far in the House are two Republican-sponsored resolutions to study the problem of sexual harassment for another year. Um, there have been 25 bills introduced by my colleagues and I. So in June, when all of these bills were sitting in committee ready for a vote, the House Republican leadership decided, okay, we need to do something about sexual harassment, and the only things they ran were two Republican-sponsored resolutions that were introduced without any feedback from Democrats and out, without any co-sponsors from the Democratic side of the aisle to study the problem. We're going to use taxpayer money to create a new task force to study the problem of sexual harassment for another year. That is the only action that's been taken so far in Harrisburg on this issue. So for people who are watching and say, this is not okay, what can people do? So we have called on the Republicans to schedule a hearing. The majority chairman, who's got the sole power to decide what bills run out of his committee, has told me he will hold one in September. We need to hold them to that. Um, we need to be calling our legislators and telling them we want a hearing on the sexual harassment bill package, and we want Harrisburg to take action. You only need to pick up a newspaper in any part of Pennsylvania right now to read a story of another legislator accused of harassment or in proper use of taxpayer funds to pay a secret settlement. Um, one of our colleagues up in Berks County paid out almost a quarter million dollars of taxpayer resources on a secret settlement that I didn't know about until I read it in the Philadelphia Inquirer. And you are calling out both sides, both Republican and Democrats. You are bipartisan on this, are you not? Yes. No, I believe um, that if you have been, if there's been an investigation, if you have been found to have harassed or even assaulted a woman in the Capitol, then you should resign. And I've called on both Democrats and Republicans to resign, as has Governor Wolf.